Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well, uh, today I'm going to read a story about dinosaurs. Yes, dinosaurs, I know you love dinosaurs, but these are special dinosaurs. They're not dinosaur firefighters, they're in fact dinosaur police. And you can see the story's called Dinosaur Police and the story's written by Sarah McIntyre and she did the pictures too. And it says, here to protect, to serve, to eat pizza. And it looks like there's a lot of pizza in this story because this Tyrannosaurus Rex seems to be eating pizza, which probably is not very good for him. But let's find out what happens inside. Oh, look, someone's getting up. Stretch, stretch, yawn. Time for the dinosaurs to get up. And this looks like Dinoville the place where the dinosaurs live. It's got some big buildings, and it's got some smaller houses, and it's even got dinosaur fountains. It's an interesting place. Dinosaur police. This looks like the police station, and someone's coming with donuts. Oh dear, that's a bad idea. Let's turn over. Dinoville Police Station was having a perfectly quiet morning until the phone rang. Red alert, hollered Sergeant Stigosaurus. There's a rampaging T-Rex at the pizza factory. Hmm. So, we'll need to get down there. Sergeant Stigosaurus and Inspector Sarah T Tops were on their way faster than you can say. Woo woo! Officer Brachio, there's Officer Brachio, joined in, even though he was too big to fit in the car. He's saying woo woo as well. Help! Someone's coming out of the pizza factory. And look, there's the T Rex inside. The pizza factory was a mess. Inspector Sarah sighed. There she is. I should have guessed. It's Trevor the T-Rex. Here he is. He seems to be eating more than is good for him. And he seems to be eating all the pizzas. The manager was sobbing. The mayor ordered these pizzas for tomorrow's town fair. Everything is ruined. We'll catch this T-Rex. T-Rex promised Sergeant Stig. He <laughs> he blew his she blew her whistle. Tweet Trevor But doesn't look like they're going to catch Trevor. Stop Yum yum Yawn Oh he looks tired <gasps> He's fallen asleep Wow too much pizza makes you sleep Trevor had eaten so much pizza that he fell asleep. Inspector Sarah said, right, let's take him to the station. Sergeant Stig switched on his megaphone. Wake up, Trevor, he shouted. Trevor was asleep. Zzz, snortle, snore. But what was this? Trevor's arms were so tiny that they slipped through the handcuffs. Roar! bellowed Trevor as he made a run for it. Sarah grabbed her police walkie-talkie. We need help. Send in the air squad. Stig bellowed into his megaphone. No, 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 Trevor. Don't go that way. <laughs> and look, Galumph, galumph, vroom, vroom, vroom. They're going as fast as they can. But did Trevor listen? Roar! He roared as he crashed and stomped through the building site with the air squad hot on his heels. I think these are the air squad. It looks a very sticky, dirty place though. What a fiasco! Could anyone stop that T-Rex? Well, perhaps it might not be a police woman or a policeman. 
It wasn't the air squad that caught Trevor. It wasn't the police. It was the cement. Trevor was completely stuck. He let out a whine of panic. Trevor, said Inspector Sarah, we'll get you out, but only if you promise not to run away. Roar, agreed Trevor. Back at the station, the dinosaur police hosed off the rest of the cement. You see, they're washing it off. Trevor blushed like a tomato. I'm sorry, he said to the manager of the pizza factory. I'm glad you said sorry, said the manager. But how are we going to make enough pizzas for tomorrow's fair? I will help, offered Trevor. Well, I wonder how he can help. The dinosaurs prepared pizzas all through the night. Trevor tried to help, but he was feeling clumsy and bloated. That means he's too fat, he's eaten too much and made more mess than pizzas. Oh dear. The mayor arrived, here she is, the next morning. Thank you for the pizzas, she said. But why is there a gloomy T-Rex hiding in the corner? The manager told her the whole story. Hmm, said the mayor, I have an idea. Wee, shouted the baby dinosaurs, bong, bong. Nothing bounces as well as a big bloated T-Rex. It's like a bouncy castle. They're jumping on his tum. Everyone tucked into the yummy pizzas. Everyone except Trevor, Trevor who still felt mighty full. Trevor was so happy, he let out a little burp. And all the baby dinosaurs joined in. Oh dear. Oh look. Brack. Ooh, you had anchovy pizza, didn't you? Whiffy. Burp. Better out than in. Pop. My burps smell as fresh as the dawn. Mrap. Morning breath, that's not fresh. I think I just set a world record burp record. A world burp record? Frip, this burp's going to go down in history. Kids will study it in schools. Mm -hmm. And this burp says, the end. Here are some other stories that uh, we might read soon. There's the back cover. It says Red Alert. And there's the back and front cover. And you can see there's the road. And uh, there's the front cover. Dinosaur Police. Well, it's really a story about pizza. <laughs> Hope you liked it. See you soon. Bye-bye.